Hello G Nation, brand new character preview. This time it is Seth Rollins, Mutant Messiah. He's the chase character for this month. Let's have a look, first the look. Looks like, I don't know, like a nuclear guy or something. Looks cool. I don't know about the purple co skin color. But overall cool look. He has no gear. Now if we have a look at the card itself, now he's a powerhouse. Gonna have a look at 5 star gold. Training ability at 17,000, 50% chance, increased chance for green gem on initial board, matching green gem's charge move of that color by two more move point. That's for a trainer. Definitely not a fan of these trainers. I don't have anyone I would use any of those on. I don't know why they keep coming up with those. He has links with the other mutant and the modern era. Now the first move set we'll have a look at is the mutated stump. 10 MP red move finisher deals 193.4k damage and choose a 4x4 area to destroy. The mutated stump puller. 9 MP red move color submission makes 17 random gems into red submission gems and do turn 133.4k damage for 7 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into blast gem and the turnbuckle head slam 7 MP purple move deal 80.1k damage and choose 7 gems to make into red gems. Now this is going to be pretty good for a few for example because it is a strong submission that lasts a long time. Now, you got two ways here. You can go either buffing the submission or buffing the finisher. The reason I went with buffing the submission instead of the finisher is because the finish the, the submission is going to make 17 random gems into red gems, which means that there's going to be a lot of them that are going to match. So there's probably going to be even less than half that are going to remain. The chances that we're going to have a good amount of them just last all those turns are pretty low. So I probably won't have much to break as far as Blast Gems go. So I'm going to buff the submission instead. So we're going to use uh, Woods so that we start with more purple. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any tour perks on right now, which means it's not going to be turn one without that plus three MP. We're going to need a purple match to get it going. Uh, I got here uh, Austin Zombie, so that red the submission move lasts three more turn and do 20% more damage. Uh, you could go also with, uh, I believe it's Bree and Striker Austin that add a flat 50% uh, damage without increasing the amount of turns, but I mean, it, it's a good amount, so I kind of want the turn and the damage, so Austin fits well. I got also Lashley, which adds another 50% and one extra turn. And I got Shelton that adds 20% to the damage itself. So it ends up being 253.5k for 11 turns. Now remember, if this was a few, you'd get a 200% on the base damage on top of that, which would make this insane. As far as the belt, uh, I got random medals in there except the uh, the move medal that is maxed. I put in the uh, Twilight Ritual. You could go with the Andre plate, uh, although, I'm, well, first I'm not even sure if it would work from gem generated from the submission. And second, there's probably not even going to be eight of them left. So that's why I didn't go with the Andre plate, even though that would have been the first time I tried it since I got it this weekend. Uh, I went instead with the uh, Twilight Ritual, which is whenever I break three or more red, make seven blues into purple, just to get some extra damage. Could have gone also with the What the Rock is Cooking for a similar effect. All right, let's do that. Gonna do it versus Ivar. Okay, so we do have this purple match, perfect. Okay, now I need eight. Let's 
probably gonna eat, it's probably gonna end my turn. I'm not gonna pick extra reds because I don't want that many reds to remain on the board. Unfortunately, we had matches. Again, if I had perks, I could have made just two, three matches and I'd be fine. All right, now we can get going. So we're going to put the 17 reds. Like I said, we're going to lose a lot of them right off the bat. We only have two left already. Out of what, 17? One left. And he got all of them. So none of them, uh, we even had five turns left. Good news is it reloaded our red so we can do it every turn. And he's never going to be able to do any moves. So again, we're going to lose a ton right off the bat. We got three left, two left. One left. And he's dead. So it... It's really good as far as damage go. Not so good as far as hoping to keep some uh, some of those blast gems on the board because they're not. They're going to be gone. But it does so much damage for so long and you can do it every single turn that it really doesn't matter that they're gone because the submission does the, the work. So, All right, let's try something else. All right, second move set, a small variation of what we just saw. It's going to be the triple red. So we're still using the mutated stump and the mutated stump puller, the submission. Uh, but we switch the third move for the straight sidekick. 9 MP red move, deal 107.4k damage and increase your red gem damage by 100% for two turns. Does not affect bonus damage. So for that, we're going to go with double red trainers, which are Butch and Sting. Uh, you like obviously if I had the tour perks I wouldn't need the second one I would probably still use zombie Austin or I could go with tech priest to boost the finisher also uh, we're gonna be using still Ashley because 50% to the submission is massive uh, plus one turn and uh, we're gonna put Gooker so that all moves do 25% extra damage I'm probably like normally you really want to just cycle and do every turn that submission because it do so much. This time I probably won't do it just because I want to see the animation of the finisher really. So I'm going to run the finisher. But normally you probably don't even need the finisher really. All right, so we're going to increase our red damage. Finisher is not ready right when we start. Does it cost nine, uh, 10 while the rest is 9? Again, there's not going to be a lot left. That did 600 right there. We have 4 remaining. Three. And they stay the whole while. We're gonna increase our damage again. I could use the I could use again the submission, but I want to see the animation for the finisher. Unfortunately the blast gems are not really in a good spot. Can't even Hit all of them. Yeah. Three. 
Probably better off just using the submission over and over, really. Which means we're probably going to try a third set, which is going to be an hybrid of the first two we just did, since I don't need the finisher. Let's try that. Alright, next move set. So since we pretty much saw we didn't need the finisher, because the submission alone does all the work, well, we'll just use something that complements it. So we're going to use a straight side kick again. 9 MP red move, deal 107.4k damage, and increase your red gem damage by 100% for two turns. Does not affect bonus damage. So with everything we're going to be getting for red, that's going to increase that damage. Plus, we'll get to use it every single turn, because we're going to get more than 9 every turn anyway. We're going to use again the sub, the mutated stun puller, 9 MP red move, color sub, makes 17 random gems into red submission gems and do 133k damage for 7 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into blast gem, which we don't really care about. The turnbuckle head slam, 7 MP purple move, deal 80k damage and choose 7 gems to make into red gems. Trainers are going to be the exact same we did the first time. Woods to get the purple, although we're still going to need a match because I don't have any, uh, I don't have any uh, uh, perks right now. And uh, the rest is all stuff increasing the submission. Zombie Austin, Lashley, and uh, uh, Shelton Benjamin. Let's do that. Let's see how that does. All right, so we're going to need a purple match. We do have it. Perfect. Okay, so now we need seven. Hopefully nothing will cascade. Perfect, nothing did. So, right now, our red is at 13.7k. We're going to increase it by 100%. Lights up to 27.4k. Now we're going to use a submission. Bunch connected to each other. That did 522k. Three remains, one remain. That's enough to get rid of all his MP and reload mine. He's down to less than a mil. Right now, 27k for our reds. We're going to use it another time. Now it's 41.2k, and this is pretty much the max that it's going to get to because it lasts for two turns, which means that every two turn, the one from two turn ago ends. So two buffs is the max you're going to get. And that submission should give us the uh, pin. The red damage there did 881,000 and ended the match without even getting one tick of the submission. So it basically just speeds up the process. So, so far out of the three we checked, this is by far my favorite. Now let's have a look. Now we checked four moves. Let's check the remaining three moves, which are moves set on their own. All right, last move set for set. It's gonna be the Frog Splash 8 MP yellow move. Deal 87k damage and destroy 7 random blast gems. The pin bar will not move. Falcon Arrow, 7 MP, a yellow move. Deal 85.3k damage and make 9 random gems into blast gem. And a springboard tornado DDT, 6 MP purple move. Deal 76k damage and make 7 random gems into yellow gems. Now, if I had perks, I would probably start with Kofi uh, and get those purple going right off the bat. I don't, so I'm going to risk with Woods uh, to start with the purple ready. Uh, we're going to put 
Uh, Branchire, red gems do 25% more damage. Blast gem do 100% more damage. And he also creates three extra blast gem, which we don't see in the tooltip. Uh, we're putting uh, Ray Mysterio, so that blast gem do another 25% more damage. And he creates one extra. And we're putting Santa Ogan, so that all gems do 2200 more damage. And start with one more MP. Now, as far as the belt go, I'm gonna get to try my new Android plate, the Heroic Titan Crest. It is whenever you make eight or more blast gems, increase the damage of all your gems for 200% for two turns. Obviously, really good for this. Other options, you could go with the Blue Bomber, which has 50% chance to create two random blast gem each time you use a signature move or a swipe gem, basically creating more blast gem to connect on. Or you can use the uh, the DX plate for the same reason, which this one make X break, which obviously when breaking the X might hit more of those uh, blast gems. So those are other options, but we're gonna go with the Android blade. This is the first time I'm gonna try it. Uh, I switched all medals for armor this time. Could have gone with all fury too. That would work too, but I didn't have a yellow fury uh, medal, so I went with armor. All right. So let's get our yellows. Hopefully we'll get matches. Or not. We're going to lose one turn. Yeah, definitely with the... Uh, with the perks, I would have started with the with Kofi for the yellow instead. Now we're gonna make 13 randoms into blast. Now my reds are doing 39.9k. My yellows are doing 35k. Well, the yellows with the last gem on, 26 for the others. Okay, now we're gonna destroy seven random of them. And the pin bar will not move. Now that reloaded everything, which means I can do it again. Make another 13 uh, blast gems. Now my reds are up at 63k. 77 for those with a blast gem on. Let's blow them again. That did 3.2 million? Just for shits and giggles. Like, obviously I could win right now, but just for shits and giggles. I'm going to do it again, just to see how many times I can do it. That's the third time. Another 2.6 million. Let's do it again. My reds are at what now? 109k each. Three mil. Oh, this time we don't have enough. Let's put them there. Let's make yellows. This time we got a pin. All right, that, that is pretty damn good. <laughs> like, obviously it's gonna do less if you don't have the Andre plate because it's not gonna boost your damage every time. But as you can see, you can cycle and do it quite a few times anyway, which will be more than enough. I mean, you don't need to do multiple times three millions to get someone down. 
You can do it once and keep him down. <laughs> so yeah, pretty damn strong characters. Plus, he's got the sub-spec, which is going to be super useful for feuds and stuff. So yeah, really good superstar for the chase this month. Plus, you don't need a bunch of pieces to make it work. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys if you're not already a sub make sure to do so to be kept aware when i post new stuff have any questions ask them and if you like the video leave a like and share see you guys g out ciao